Last week, we launched a brand new functionality inside of Readwise called Chat with Highlights. And so far, we've never had so many people call a specific single feature this game changing. With this feature, you can now chat back and forth with your entire library of highlights, including those from books, articles, PDFs, and more, right inside of Readwise. So I wanted to come on here and teach you guys two powerful ways you can start using Chat with Highlights, as well as a couple non-obvious tips and tricks for getting the best responses. To get started, the first thing you're going to want to make sure you've done is imported all of your highlights. So if you've been with Readwise for a while, you've probably already connected everything, but if you're brand new, you can do this by going to the import page underneath Connect and Sync. On this page, you can connect and import highlights from over 30 different sources, including those from Kindle, Pocket, Twitter, as well as our very own Read It Later app called Reader, which is included in your free trial as well as your Readwise full subscription. If there's a book that maybe you read a couple years ago or just never got around to taking any highlights on, you can still look up that title using this supplemental books feature. Basically, whenever you add a title using this method, we'll go ahead and import the all-time most popular highlights from that book right into your Readwise account. Alternatively, if you still have a lot of physical highlights from paper books, you can still import those to Readwise using our physical import tool on the Readwise mobile app. So in my case, I have over 20,000 highlights that I've accumulated over the past five years from 92 different books, 662 articles, and over 300 tweets. So being able to go back and chat with all of these highlights from over the years has been a huge value unlock for me in terms of getting more out of my reading, which brings me to how you can start using chat yourself. So one of the simplest ways you can use chat with highlights is to help you find a quote that you kind of remember the idea of. Of, but you can't remember the precise words. For example, I have this vague memory of a Cheryl Strayed quote that I read in one of her essays a couple years back, but I can't remember the exact words or larger context of it. So I'm going to tell chat the rough idea and see if it can find it for me. So as you can see, chat has helped me find not only the book that this quote comes from and the specific wording of the phrase I remembered, it's also pulled the larger context of the quote to help jog my memory and remember the complete idea that she was sharing. So semantic search, like what I just demonstrated here, is one of the more simple ways you can use chat with highlights. One of the more advanced ways you can use this feature is to synthesize, compare, and spark new ideas across all of your reading. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So in the past, and this is still the case, you can use Readwise to export all of your highlights to tools like Notebook LM, Notion, and other apps, and then use their AI models to chat back and forth with your highlights. But now, thanks to this feature, you can do a lot of the synthesis right within Readwise itself. For example, you can use chat to help you summarize key takeaways from documents you've read for work. So this is what the response looks like. As you can see, Readwise Chat has synthesized a couple different takeaways for me from a variety of my highlights that I've taken across a couple different articles. At the top of the sidebar here, you can see what we call reference highlights, which are the exact highlights and sources that Chat is referencing in its response. Now, if you scroll down, you can find what we call relevant highlights. These are highlights that weren't referenced in chat's original response, but are closely related to whatever topic you were discussing that we think might have value for you at this stage. One of the things that I think is worth pointing out here is unlike a lot of the early AI models, with Readwise Chat, you actually don't need to learn any specialized prompting formula to get a good response. One thing you can do, however, is tell Readwise Chat how you want it to structure its responses. So for example, I could ask Chat to restructure its response with step-by-step -step instructions. Here is the revised response with more carefully sequenced instructions. So what I just showed here is a more professional example, but you can use chat with highlights for all sorts of use cases. For example, you could use it to explore a new hobby. Here's an example where I asked about common mistakes early writers make, working through personal challenges, or even asking it more existential questions. 
all these examples I've shown you inside of the Readwise web app, but you can also use chat with highlights inside of the latest version of the Readwise mobile app as well. We've also added these new buttons inside of the Readwise daily review as well as elsewhere in the app, making it easy to quickly find similar highlights and start a brand new chat. This is just one of the latest ways you can use Readwise to unlock more value from your reading. If you want to start building a consistent reading practice this year, you should check out this tutorial next.